Welcome to a new video. Have you ever felt that your monitor could be running smoother and faster with a higher refresh rate even beyond the set limits? This is where overclocking comes in. With this, you'll be able to push your monitor beyond its factory limits to improve performance. This is a common practice that is followed for CPUs and GPUs. But in today's video, I'll be showing you how to overclock your monitor to create a better experience, making everything from gaming to video editing a lot smoother. Before we begin, do note that this process comes with risk such as the potential to damage the monitor. So make sure to proceed with caution. There are two methods by which you can overclock your monitor. If you're having an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, you'll definitely be having a software that is the control panel where you'll be tweaking the settings. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so it'll look something like this. Under the display section, you'll find a change resolution option where you can adjust the refresh rate. Most likely, your monitor's refresh rate will be set to the default limit, that is 60 Hz. Under this, you'll see a customize option. Select it and then choose create custom resolution. From here, you'll see a refresh rate option. Now, the important thing to note is that if you're having a 60 Hz monitor, most likely your limit will be between 73 to 75 Hz. Or the best solution is to try increasing the number until the screen goes black or goes out of range. If your screen goes black for 5-10 seconds, press escape on keyboard to revert. This way, you'll know the limit and after adjusting the settings accordingly, apply the settings. Done! In case you don't have a GPU installed, then use this next method that should be useful. For this method, you'll need to download a software called CRU tool. Simply click on the link I mentioned in the description and download this zip file. Extract its contents and run the application. In this window, make sure you have selected the right monitor. Next, under this, select edit and under refresh rate option, change the value as for the recommended refresh rate. Now apply the changes and open the restart application that you got in the zip folder with admin rights. This will set the new refresh rate. To check the same, go into settings and under display graphics settings, you'll see your new refresh rate. After increasing the limit on my laptop with this method, sometimes my screen went blank after restarting the computer. While it showed everything was fine after using the restart application, be careful, this may happen. In that case, grab a HDMI cable and connect it with another monitor or TV and use it as a display to reset your settings to the default refresh rate. There it is. You've just overclocked your monitor. I hope you were able to see some improvement in the performance. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more great content.